Now who is a partner by holding out? Partner by holding out is a partner who holds himself out as a partner. Now he is a person who isn't actually a partner. He is not a partner. Yet he holds himself out as a partner. Now, now I'll, I'll just give you an example. Uh, let's say you know A and B are into a partnership. They own a, a firm which you know, trades into textiles. It is into a retail trade of textiles. So they have a shop and they have kept their fabric there and they sell the fabric. And there's a person C who keeps coming to their shop every now and then you know just to say hi because he is their friend so just he whenever he is passing by he just comes and you know tells them hi does a bit of gossip and then he leaves so one fine day uh, he was just passing by and he entered the store and there was a huge uh, sorry, there was a big customer you know, who had just come in. But what happened was this customer who was very rich happened to know C. So C, seeing him in the shop, you know, he told him that yes, yes, come in. This is my shop. I'll show you whatever stuff there is, and you can buy whatever you like. Now since that customer knew C, he was okay you know, buying stuff from this shop. Now seeing this, the original partners A and B also did not object because they wanted business. So if business is happening and it is because of C, just because C tells him that you know he is a partner in the firm or by his conduct the party assumes you know concludes that she is a partner then also we can call she as a partner by holding out so what has she done here she has held himself out as a partner he holds himself out as a partner the important thing to note here is in case of partner by holding out the person who is not a partner, he holds himself out. He proclaims to the outsiders, he himself proclaims to the outsiders that he is a partner. Or he acts in such a way that it makes the outsiders feel that he is a partner. So by his conduct also, he may make the others feel. So in our case, C has proclaimed himself to be a partner so this is partner by holding up so what is partner by stoppel partner by stoppel is just a variant of this you know let's say in the same case wherein C was just passing by he enters this shop and then this big customer comes in and he happens to know C so he asks him are you a partner in this firm? You know, before C replies, the other two partners reply, yes, yes, C is a partner in our firm. You know, he is one of the owners. So, hearing this, you know, C did not reply any, anything. And the customer said, okay, you can show me stuff and I'll buy stuff. Buy, I'll buy textiles from this shop. So now in this case what has happened is C himself has not proclaimed himself to be the partner. However, the other partners have you know held him out, proclaimed him to be the partner. Yet C did not say anything. He did not object 
to the partners calling him a partner the original partners are a and b they called him the partner they proclaimed him the partner but c did not object to this he said okay it, it doesn't matter you know if the you know top owners a and b are getting a good customer because of me so let them get they are my friends so he did not object so in this case c did not proclaim himself to be the partner but the other partners a and b said that c is the partner so this is a case of partner by stoppel now why do we call this a partner by stoppel because let's say you know this customer goes him or uh, goes home and finds that the you know fabric the textile is defective so he comes to the shop he finds c there and he tells him to give the money back so c tells him boss this is not my shop this is their shop you ask the money back from them so can c disclaim the liability here no while selling the goods he was okay being the partner now since the goods are defective he will have to return the money back since the goods are defective but you know when the customer comes for returning the goods he says that he is not the partner can he disclaim his status as a partner no he cannot disclaim his status as a partner he will be stopped from disclaiming his status as a partner he will be stopped from disclaiming his liability Now please understand that when the sales happened c incurred a liability as a partner there he was said to be the partner he did not object to it so now also he will be stopped from objecting to the liability he undertook the liability because tomorrow if the goods are defective he'll have to return the money because he is a partner so now he will be stopped from disclaiming the liability because the customer assume C to be the partner, and only because of this reason that he purchased the goods from that store. If he had known C is not the partner, possibly he would have not purchased. But relying on this fact that C is a partner, he purchased the goods. Now C will be stopped from disclaiming his liability. Same is the case, you know, with uh, partner uh, in holding out. a person holds himself out as a partner and sells the goods tomorrow the goods are defective he will again be liable so it doesn't matter if he is a partner by holding out or he is a partner by stoppel in both the cases he will be stopped from disclaiming his liability he cannot say no i am not liable i am not the partner uh, though you know the other two are the real partners take the money back from them no, he cannot say anything of this he will be liable and he will have to redress the customer you know in whatever method or way that he wants so he cannot disclaim it all. now in the books in many books you will see that partner by holding out and partner by stoppel is used synonymously both are assumed to be the same actually both are not the same the difference is the person who is not a partner himself holds out to be the partner in partner by holding out and the actual partners hold out the other person as a partner in case of partner by stoppel is a slight difference but in many cases this difference has been ignored and both are used synonymously so you know you might get objectives you know wherein the partner by holding out is the correct answer but it is not there in the option instead of it partner by stoppel is given or vice versa as the case may be 
so in books you may find that both are you know taken to be same so we'll come back to this slide someone holds out as a partner there's some other person who's not a partner but he holds out as a partner he represents himself or permits himself to be represented as a partner now he represents that means holding out or permits that means he you know allows other people so this becomes stoppage okay Now, stoppel comes from the word stop. So, he will be stopped from disclaiming his liability. So, represents himself or permits himself to be represented as a partner, though he is not a partner. So, the first thing is clear, he is not a partner. So, he represents or he permits other people to represent himself as a partner. So, when he does that, he is liable like a partner, very important. He becomes liable like a partner because the other person, the outsider, the customer was influenced by this representation and thus made the transaction. So because he has made a transaction, assuming that you know D is oh sorry, C is a partner, then he becomes liable as a partner. It doesn't matter actually he is or not. Just because the outsiders have acted, assuming him to be the partner, he becomes liable as a partner. Only the person to whom representation has been made imposed the liability. That means he is liable like a partner only to the person to whom. Now, he will not be liable like a partner to all the customers. He will be liable only to those persons before whom he has been represented as a partner now let's say there are you know you know 10 people came in after that big client but c wasn't present there there wasn't anything to show that c is the partner c c had already left now if the goods you know are found out to be defected to those customers as well in that case c will not be responsible he will only be responsible for the client before whom he was represented to be the partner. Okay. The intention is irrelevant. It is not important that the partners wanted to commit a fraudulent act or they did not. You know, the partner who was represented to be the partner wanted to commit a fraudulent act or not it is not important the only thing that is important is that somebody who is not a partner is represented to be the partner and believing this fact some other person has acted okay so this is about partner by holding out or partner by stopping